So we've got a horse here that's a six year old that was recently purchased and we looked at him and noticed that he had a little bit more swelling on the left side of his jaw externally than on the, on the right side. If there's swelling that's bilateral and symmetric, we don't worry too much, but when one side's a little more swollen than the other, it makes us a little bit suspicious. And then on the oral exam, we saw a few more things, so we're gonna go over that with you um, and see what those red flags can look, look like and what to be aware of. Okay, so then we look orally and we can see that this tooth is protuberant here compared to the others. So it's anytime you see a tooth that's longer than the other teeth, I always try and find a reason why, and most of the time there's a reason uh, if you dig deep enough. Sometimes it can just be the way that uh, the teeth erupted, but most times when there's a big difference, it's that there's something specific going on. So the reason why is that uh, if we look across from it, it may be a little hard to see here, but we can see how the bottom tooth is recessed and is not as protuberant. So we'll look with the oral endoscope in just a minute and we'll show you guys what's going on. So this is a normal healthy tooth. And if we look at this one behind here, we can see this open pulp number one. This is another open pulp with feet in it. This pulp is open, this pulp is open, this pulp is open. This is a healthy tooth. That's what a healthy normal tooth should look like. This is an abnormal tooth. Okay, so now anytime we see this, we wanna look we know when there's infection, there has to be pus coming out. And so if we look right here, this little area right here is what a little drain track looks like. And there's, we're gonna put a probe in there and probably find out that that track goes all the way to the root. And what's been happening is pus being formed at the root is just draining into the mouth every day. Okay, so here I've got a little probe and we're gonna explore this area and see how the probe sinks in. Look at that. Just fell the whole length into that drain track. That's, that's very abnormal and should never happen. But anytime you see a tooth that's this diseased, you can expect to have a drain track either outside the mouth, underneath the jaw, or in the mouth in this case. So here if we're looking, this is what normal roots look like. And then look at these roots right here. They've been reabsorbed. And this is a different type of view. We can see we've got some calcification along in here and the roots have been reabsorbed. It should look just like this. So we have radiographic evidence of infection, oral evidence of infection. There's no doubt that this tooth has to come out. Antibiotics will not help this horse. So we just got done taking the tooth out and first we balanced the mouth. That's very, very important. Um, and actually I think it's worth talking about for a second is there's more and more people doing extractions, which is good. Uh, but balancing the mouth, not just at the time of the surgery, but after in the months and years that follow is critical because otherwise you can have secondary problems that are just as bad as the, the reason why we took out the tooth in the first place. So keeping everything balanced is super critical um, horses that have their teeth, uh, a tooth extracted, should have their teeth floated at least every six months for quite a while. Um, otherwise, you get these secondary shifting and some teeth, the op opposing tooth will hyper erupt and trying to grow into that space. So, but everything went well here. We'll show you guys the tooth and the x ray. Um, so, after we do the extraction, we take an x ray to make sure that, that all of the tooth is gone. And you can see on here, there's no roots or anything left behind. Um, and then if we look at the tooth itself, you can see here what it looks like. It has abnormal roots because this is a young horse and the roots never really formed the way they should have. And then this right here, uh, we'll zoom in just a little bit and we'll show you guys what that looks like. This is actually a drain track where pus that was being formed at the root was draining up through this channel that the body created. That's why I've got that probe through here. And you can see where that channel was running right alongside the tooth and it was coming out inside the mouth. And so that probe that we put in the mouth earlier, that was going down into that tract which goes to the root. A little piece of root here on this side broke off. Um, that can happen, it wasn't a big deal. We just kind of picked that out. And so all in all, everything went well. This horse uh, should be back to work in five days. And uh, then the aftercare is just maintaining the, the balance, like I was saying. So all these, the procedures start to finish on the extraction, took probably maybe an hour by the time we did the block, the extraction itself. 
Uh, I know obviously it was also done with a horse standing and they'll be good to haul out of here in, in probably 15 or 20 minutes or so. So start to finish hauling to haul out, it was about an hour and a half on a six-year-old horse.